The most important thing you can do if you have a child is help them to personally hear from God. A lot of times what religious parents do, they they live in this world and they say it's dark and horrible and it's gonna destroy our kids. And they love their kids so much. They don't want their kids to make bad decisions. So they just tell their kids, just do everything we tell you. As if the Lord wouldn't speak to the kids. There's a guy in the Old Testament named Samuel. He's a little boy and God speaks to him. The goal is as early as possible for your kids to have a personal relationship with the Holy Spirit to where he speaks to them. Because number one, the parent can't always be there. And number two, the parent's not always right. When our kids were little, they'd be like, hey, dad, I want to talk to you about something great. I'd say, okay, have you heard from the Lord on that? As early as possible. Here's where you go in the Bible. Go do a Bible study on that. The first place you want to hear from God is the word of God. Your friends are not being good. Okay, read Proverbs as a proverb. You can read a proverb a day for a month and look at the wise, foolish, and evil people and figure out if you're wise, foolish, or evil, and if your friends are wise, foolish, or evil, and then come back to me and tell me what God is saying to you. Just direct them toward a study of the Bible. Did you pray about it? What did God speak to you? Go, go spend some time, not in your room in silence for punishment. Just, you know, go sit on the swing and spend some time with the Lord and come back and tell me kind of what you're thinking.